Hi hey guys, this is Maticus. We're here at the Content House in Austin. I'm here with my friend. What's your name, babe? I'm Rocky. Why am I, I'm trying to give him the mic because I'm used to the history okay. interview sites. Rocky, is that how can we find you on social media? Uh, I'm Rocky Unleashed. Unleashed. Yeah. No underscore nothing. There's an under on Instagram. There's an underscore after Unleashed, and on Twitter there's an underscore uh, between the Rocky and Unleashed. What, what happened? Why couldn't, why couldn't you match? I was used already. There was like some dog. Oh no! <laughs> Doesn't it always suck when they have no followers and someone's taking your username? Yeah, yeah. Like, man, that, that could have been me. That could have been me. All right, so we're here at the content house. We're curious to know we have over thirty something plus content creators here. How many have you hooked up with so far? Uh, maybe like seven. Seven? Yeah. How, how many days are you in? Uh, I got here two nights ago. Two nights ago. So that's not that bad. It's well, it depends what you consider bad. <laughs> what, what's a heavy week for you? What's the most you've, you've hooked up with? Um. Maybe like 15. 15? Yeah. Are you top, bottom, verse? I'm a verse top. Okay. Yeah, right, so well, more top. A pretty fun job. Right? <laughs> it's not bad. Not a bad gig. You don't have gig. to take too much of a beating. <laughs> no, I haven't. I think tonight might be my, my night to take a bit of a beating. But, okay. Yeah, I hurts. have my limits. Yeah. <laughs> Some people, there's a choice in what they're ordering. I find it, build, it builds empathy as a top. I have to kind of, you know understand what it is I'm doling out sometimes. Dude, to... I, we, we, we talk about that a lot. We're like, to be a good top, you have to, effectively, you have to know how to be a good bottom, right? Mm -hmm. So you know what feels right. But there's a lot of people that will disagree and say that they'll never bottom. I think it goes both ways, too. I think being a good bottom, you also have to know what it's like to be a good top. I don't know. I've seen some tops or some bottoms try to top and they're cry, they'll cry, you know, because they don't want to be there. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're like, just phoning me, it in. Don't make me do it. <laughs> don't make me do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> All right, so what, what's the weirdest request you've gotten on OnlyFans? Um, well, you know, I don't judge, so it's hard to... So. <laughs> um, Money's money. <laughs> um, I don't know how crazy it is, but, like, I, you know, I don't have... Personally, I don't have a, a tremendous amount of kinks and stuff, so, you know, whenever people request certain content, I'm like, okay, cool, if that's what you're into. But <laughs> I, I have one fan that, that asked me recently um, to, like, play with myself... Mm -hmm. while wearing a condom because he wanted to watch me come into the condom and then kind of play with okay play with the the like aftermath the it, yeah yeah so i was like okay you know i guess that's i didn't know that was a turn on for anybody mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. good to know good to know yeah so i'm People selling them now i have a whole merch of <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> you, you can buy that condom now yes but... yes underscore unleashed did you get like paid well for that or not bad. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, I was able to book a flight to Austin with the money. I guess. Okay, all right. <laughs> you gotta, hey, you book my next flight to Austin. Yeah, you got a deal, yeah. buddy. You got you. That's crazy. Okay, so when you were like deciding to get into adult content creation, like, did you think about it, or you're just like all in? <laughs> if you knew me, that'd be like such a funny question. Like, overthink everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought about it for a long time. I mean, like the first time I was, I was kind of proposition to get into making adult content was probably like 15 years ago and I I almost did it but then I didn't and it was something that I I was always curious about and I I knew a lot of a lot of my friends and even people I've dated have have done it and I was like fully here for it filmed for people like I was mm -hmm. in full support but I always felt like oh they can do it but I can't and yeah. I think I just reached a point where I was like that's a weird that's story to tell shine. yeah yeah <laughs> so you said you're you're a top verse so how how well endowed are you Oh, I mean, it's it's on public record. You can go to Rocky underscore Unleashed. Well, it's, the, the viewers want to know here. Yeah, I, I think uh, like what you want inches. Yeah, I'm like good nine, nine and a half. Nine, nine and a half. Yeah, we got centimeters earlier, so like. Well, I'm six foot six, and I wear a size fourteen shoe, so it'd be oh, weird wow. if I was not. Yeah. Well endowed. Build big, big build I'm, here. Yeah, I'm proportional. <laughs> well, I know, like sometimes when you you have a friend that has a big dick, you're like, you, you should be important. You know, you just like you're like you just appreciate their body. You're like, I don't know what you're doing, but you should not do that. You should do porn. Yeah, I did sort of feel like I was. I, I'm not. I don't play basketball, mm -hmm. and I'm you know six six. So I was like already kind of <laughs> like missing you know but, wasted opportunity. So you know I had to put, yeah. put my assets to good use. What's next? What's next? <laughs> How do you deal with uh, body confidence? Um. Well, you know, I, I, I worked and still do as a yoga instructor for many years. That's what I did for most of my adult life. And I think before I, you know, put on size and kind of went on this, this particular journey with my body, um, so much of my practice and everything was really about, like, not to sound cliche, but like loving my body mm -hmm. and, and embodiment and really appreciating uh, just the brilliance of our bodies. So 
I think how I deal with it is, you know, we, we fluctuate in size and look, look differently on different days. And sometimes your, your ego takes a little beating, but, um, I truly do love my body. Like I appreciate it very deeply. So at the, at the basis, like mm -hmm. I'm kind to myself and I think that makes a big difference. Yeah, that does. It does make a big difference. Have you always been like this muscular or do you have to work for it? No, I definitely have to work for it. I, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I probably like 10 years ago, I was the same height, obviously. Um, but I was like 70 pounds thinner. Right. So I've definitely had a bit of a come up. That's a big change, size department. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, muscle, muscle weights, heavy, heavy. <laughs> That's amazing. So let's say that let's go back in time a little bit. Say that we're, we're talking to your 10 year old self. Where do you think that 10 year old you would think that you were going to be today? Oh man. At 10, well, when I was 10 years yeah. old, I was, uh, I was taking, uh, magic lessons. I wanted to be a magician. Oh, a magician. Yeah. So I, I think he, he hoped I would grow up and be at like performing at birthday parties <laughs> and doing, like pulling rabbits out of hats and stuff. Yeah, you're so still making things disappear. I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm pulling things out of, <laughs> out of things. <laughs> Abracadabra. Uh, um, if you weren't, if you didn't get into adult content creation, what do you think you'd be doing? Well, the other things that I'm, I enjoy doing, I, I do. So okay. like, I, I also teach yoga and fitness and like mm -hmm. mindfulness practices. I'm also a singer, songwriter, recording artist. Um, I do a bit of coaching and different things. So yeah, I think like for me, I, 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 I had a story that like, if I did adult content, I couldn't do the other things mm -hmm. I wanted to do. And that was part of what I wanted to, at the very least, like be an example that that's not true. You mm -hmm. know, we're all multifaceted and we all have different interests yeah. and like this doing one thing doesn't mean you can't do, can't explore other that's parts true. of yourself. You, you have some like good career tracks though, that like that someone's like going to one of your classes and you're like, damn, he's so hot. Like, I wish I could see more of him. Like, well, you're in luck. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's where I got all my fans is from. My, from you're my... in luck. <laughs> <laughs> you can subscribe. <laughs> we were talking about earlier about like how endowed you were. Have you ever been around someone that's made you feel like more suppressed or do you, how do you feel about when people are bigger than you? Oh, in this like dick size. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of guys on this trip where yeah. I'm like, Oh, look at my petite little, <laughs> little dick. I mean, this guy over here. Um, yeah. I mean, I think like, I, I don't, I don't feel like my, my contribution to the world is my big dick. So like, I, it's big enough. It does the trick. It doesn't need to be the biggest in the land for me to feel good about myself. <laughs> I love that. And we don't all need the big dicks, guys. It's all about how you work it, right? That's what, what that's what they say. Yeah. I think he, he actually has a big dick, though. So I don't. Know and I like, work it well, so you know, it's like. Yeah, he's doing fine. So say that you had a hookup over, and you know it's time for them to go home, but they don't know. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna let them know it's time to go? Um, I probably just start yawning, and I tell them like, you know, I really I, like. I, I snore really, which is true when I yeah. sleep. Like if you want a good night's sleep, it's probably time for you to yeah. head out because I got to get up early. <laughs> I bet you got somewhere to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have somewhere to be too and deep sleep. <laughs> okay. Well, that was amazing. But and our last question is, is on how do people find you on social media again? And also why should people follow you? Mm. Well, I'm on social media as Rocky unleashed underscore Instagram and Rocky underscore unleashed on X slash Twitter. Um, you know, I think some people really sell a fantasy and they sell a certain like, you know, idea of what they think people want. I really tried to create content that showcases like authenticity and, and like intimacy and like, like genuine connection that I have with people. So, you know, my content isn't junk food. It's like nourishing, yeah. I would hope, um, and stimulating and, um, yeah. Check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. Sounds healthy. It sounds nice. Definitely check him out. Thank yeah, you so organic. much for sharing with us today. Yeah. <laughs> My Do you pleasure. have anything to add, producer? No? Um, Any other questions that we missed? I guess I was going to ask you this personally, but like, do you enjoy like being famous now? Oh, do you enjoy being famous now? I can't say that I feel famous, but like every now and then I'll go out and I'll get treated like that. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's novel. Like, it's, it's cute. It's fun to have people um, recognizing and appreciating you and your work yeah that's awesome that's cute i i feel like i would um definitely take advantage of that no, <laughs> the perks no, there's some perks and there are a few yeah. there was? good all right well thank you so much we appreciate you coming on and sharing your story with us yeah my pleasure thanks thank for you. having me